everyone, my name is Cherie and today I'm here to do my June book haul. I have quite a number of books here so let's just get into it. The first book I have is Sweet Bitter by Stephanie Dandler. This is an adult contemporary and one of the three books I am currently reading right now. I actually probably should be done with this book by now. It's not that I'm not enjoying it. I think I'm just not in the mood to read contemporary which doesn't really bode well for the summer TBR I created but I do plan on finishing this book hopefully soon. This is a story of this girl who moves to New York and she ends up working at a restaurant and it's about her life in New York and working at that restaurant. The next book I got is A Court of Miss and Fury by Sarah J. Mass. This is the second book in the A Court of Thorns and Roses series. I did a review on A Court of Thorns and Roses recently and I will leave a link to that video in the description box down below. All I know about this book is it contains the story of Feyre, our main character from A Court of Thorns and Roses, and it continues the story of her in the world of the High Fae and also there's romance involved and some sexy times. So yeah. The next book I got is The Girl Who Circumnavigated Fairyland in the Ship of Her Own Making by Catherine M. Valente. This is a middle grade novel about a girl who circumnavigates fairyland. I've heard really good things about this book as well as the series so I'm excited to get into it at some point. And the next book I got is The Miniaturist by Jesse Burton. This book is historical fiction and that's pretty much all I really know about it. I do know that I love the cover and when I saw the bookstore for only six dollars I had to just pick it up. The next book I have is my book of the month club book for the month of June and that is The Veins of the Ocean by Patricia Engel. Now I got a postcard from the judge who picked this and I'm going to read it to you because I forgot to read it to you on my last month's book of the month club pick. Now the judge who picked this is Roxane Gay who is the author of An Untamed State. I still need to read this. And she says, The Veins of the Ocean is a gorgeous novel full of bitter, sweet ache and unforgettable moments. Patricia Engel captures the unique complexity of South Florida while telling the story of a woman learning to live her own life on her own terms. This book will stretch your heart wide open. The next book is a book that I picked up at Kroger. I was actually in the magazine section because I was looking for this college football book, but it's not out yet. And then I decided, you know what, while I'm over here, let me go look for books. And I saw this book for like seven bucks, so I had to pick it up. And that is Say Anything by Sarah Dessen. So this is a young adult contemporary and I wanted to read a young adult contemporary this summer. And this will be my first Sarah Dessen book that I actually read. So this is about this girl whose family kind of gets put in the spotlight because of her brother. And she ends up kind of being taken in by this family who owns a local pizza place. Not sure really what to expect from this one, but hopefully it is good. So the next few I got from book outlets, and the first one is Armada by Ernest Klein. So this book I've heard mixed reviews on, and Ernest Klein is the author of Ready Player One, and a lot of people have very high expectations for this book, and those expectations did not come through for some people, but I really want to see how I feel about it. So this is about this guy and a video game that he loves playing, and he starts seeing these flying saucers, and then he realized that these saucers look like these saucers from this video game that he loves so much. So it's up to him and I guess some other gamers to pretty much save the world. And the next one I got is At the Water's Edge by Sarah Gruen. So I saw someone do a review on this. I cannot remember who did the review, but it left me intrigued. And then when I saw it on Book Outlet, I said, you know what, let me just get it. So this book is about this woman and her husband, how they kind of got cut off by their family and they end up in the Scottish Highlands. And it's pretty much about their life there and possibly the drama that happened. So I own her other book, Water for Elephants, but I have yet to read it. I bought it last summer. I'm not sure how many books this author has, but maybe I'll just start buying her books in the summer because that's pretty much what I do. The next book I have is The Forest of Hands and Teeth by Carrie Ryan. So this is a zombie book. I believe it's young adults. And the reason I end up getting this book is because I heard somewhere that it is going to be turned into a movie. I cannot remember where I heard it, but I believe it was this one I heard it was going to be turned into a movie. Also, I'm very proud of myself because I believe this book is the first in a trilogy and the other books were also on the book outlets. But I only got this one because I don't know how I'm going to feel after I read this one. I didn't want to end up having the other ones if I didn't like this one. The next book I got is The Expatriates by Janice Y.K. Lee. So this book is about the lives of four American women living in a small community in Hong Kong. I have been looking at this book all year and very happy I found it on book outlets. The next book I have is The Watchmaker of Filigree Street by Natasha Pulley. I believe I first heard about this book from one of the podcasts from The Book Riot. It is set in the 1800s and I believe magic may be involved. I don't know. I really love this cover and I just wanted to get it. The next book I have is All American Boys by Jason Reynolds and Brennan Keeley. I think that's how you pronounce his last name. So this book is a young adult contemporary and it's about two boys, one white and one black. And it deals with racism and I believe it deals with police brutality 
All I know is the book that I wanted to put on my shelf. And the last book I got from the book outlet is Zeros by Scott Westerfeld, Margot Lanigan, and Deborah Biancotti. This is a young adult, or is it middle grade? I don't know, it's one of them. And it is about these kids that have superpowers and it's them dealing with these superpowers and fighting evil. And I believe this is a series, so if I like this one, I will continue on to the other ones. And the last section of books I have are books that I got from the Half Price Books clearance sale, where every book was $2 or less. The first book I got, which I was really excited about when I saw it, because I created a list of some of the books that I was hoping to see there, and this book was on that list. And that book is Jonathan Strange and Mr. Norrell by Susanna Clark. Now, I was looking for the paperback because this book is so huge, but I am not mad that I found a hardcover for only $2. And it is in good condition. So this book is set in the 1800s and magic has pretty much faded. But they find out that one person is still practicing magic and that person is Miss Nora. I know this book was turned into a TV show but I never watched the TV show because I always wanted to read the book first. And now that I have the book even though it is a monster of a book, 782 pages to be exact. But now that I have the book, I am excited to finally read it. Another one I got at the sale is The Tiger's Wife by Tia Ulbricht. So this book is about this young doctor who is trying to figure out the mysterious circumstances surrounding her grandfather's death. And she ends up coming across an old battered copy of the Jungle Book that he had. And she also comes across some stories that he never told her, one being the legend of the tiger's wife. I remember hearing about this book when it came out a few years back and I'm happy that I found it. The next book I have is is Bring Up the Bodies by Hilary Mantel. Now this is a sequel to Wolf Hall, which I have in my summer TBR. And I have yet to read Wolf Hall yet, so I don't even know if I'm going to like that book. But this hardcover was only $2. I could not pass it up. The next one I have is The Passage by Justin Cronin. I believe this is the first book in the trilogy. It is the story of this girl named Amy who is abandoned by her mother and then she's pretty much hunted down by the government who do these experiments on her. I've heard this trilogy is great. I don't know if anyone has read this on booktube, but let's hope it's just as good as I've heard. And the next one I have is Stoker's Manuscript by Royce Prouty. So this book is about this guy who is a rare manuscript expert and he ends up being hired to purchase the original draft of Bram Stoker's Dracula. And the person who hired him just happens to be a member of the oldest family in Transylvania. He ends up traveling Transylvania to drop off this manuscript and he finds himself held hostage. And the only way he can get free is for him to help his prisoner decipher the text of the original draft to Dracula. So I remember picking this book up at the sale, but they thought I'd put it back down until I got home and there it was. So hopefully I do enjoy this when I read it. And the last book I end up getting is White Oleander by Janet Finch. So I remember seeing a review of this by Max from Well Done Books just a few months ago. This novel was a pretty big book when it came out. It was a Oprah book club book but I had forgotten all about it. So this book is pretty much about a girl who is now an orphan because her mother has been sentenced to life in prison for murder. And we just follow this girl's life while she goes through a series of foster homes and are trying to figure out her place. So those are all the books in this book haul. Let me know if you've read any of these books. Also, let me know what the last book was that you bought or got from the library. But thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye.